Welcome to episode 4 of the Island Survival Dip Diary. In this episode, I'll go over the changes made during day 4 of the game's development. As you can see, I created a new title screen for the game. While still temporary, I think it's a huge leap forward compared to the plain text screen I had before. When in game, you can now press M to show the menu. All of the menu options are purely cosmetic for now, as there's currently no way to select any of them. I wanted a way to have the menu show without obstructing your view of the game, so I added camera adjustments so that the view stays centered at all times. When using the editor, you'll now see a cursor around the tile under your mouse. This makes it a lot easier to predict tile placement behavior and allows you to do accurate editing without needing to use the grid. Also, if you select a tile type that is on a lower layer than the tiles you've already painted, those tiles will fade so that you can see what you're editing. This is useful for when you start your islands from top to bottom like I tend to do. You'll also notice that I finished the assets for all the possible tile arrangements. I still need to draw on the coastline on the sand tiles and touch up the dirt tiles, but it's nice to have everything displaying properly. There are also three more objects in the game. Copper veins, schools of fish, and crabs are now accessible via the object editor. Crabs are currently stationary, but I'll have them wandering around randomly soon enough. That's all for episode 4. Thanks for watching.